well, just in case you haven't had enough Beatles news for one day, there's a, a this article or a series of articles going around featuring this, talking about director Peter Jackson and what he has in store for the brand new Now and Then music video. The music video is going to be dropping on uh, the 3rd of November and uh, it's going to be following the, the song coming out. And uh, fans are pretty excited about it. And so far, people who know the details, even a couple of people who've seen it, say it's going to be a very, very emotional affair that you should have a box of tissues ready because it's uh, there's not going to be a dry eye in the house, that kind of thing. Well, anyway, uh, uh, Peter Jackson explained some details, but it was a very, very long statement that he said. Uh, at first, he was wondering what he was going to do for a video to accompany the song now and then. But then he found out he had plenty of footage to work with. And uh, a lot of it was taken in 1995 while George, Paul, and Ringo worked on Now and Then. At first, he said to himself, well, there's not a lot of not a lot of footage that was shot of this stuff in the 90s when they were making it. But it turns out that there's a lot of footage uh, to be utilized. And that's exciting in itself because uh, I didn't know myself that there was so much. So uh, it's going to be good maybe even in addition to the Now and Then video. Maybe we'll wind up seeing some of this footage from 1995 implemented in some other form of a nice documentary, a longer documentary. Okay, now also, uh, John Lennon's son, Sean, and, and uh, George Harrison's uh, widow, Olivia, they provided, quote, some great unseen home movie footage. Um, so you're going to be getting some footage that uh, uh, Olivia and Sean are supplying, which is really going to be exciting and probably, you know, never before seen. And then very interesting news is that I like to hear, and this is what everybody's really buzzing about right now. The original drummer, Pete Best, actually came forward and provided some performance footage of the early Beatles in leather suits. Now, I don't really know if this is the footage that we've already kind of seen. A lot of diehard Beatle fans have already, in the last several years, been treated to seeing color home movie footage, silent, of the Beatles playing a gig in a leather jackets. And if I remember, the footage I'm talking about is, if I remember, you don't really get to see a good look of Pete on the drums just the way it's shot. But I don't know if it's that or it's something else. So maybe people know already and I'm missing the boat on this news. I don't really know. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Peter Jackson describes finding, quote, a collection of unseen outtakes in the vault where the Beatles are relaxed, funny, and rather candid. He says, these become the spine of our middle section, and we wove the humor into some footage shot in 2023. Yes, also, uh, I believe that Paul and Ringo, to help out, shot some new footage this year to also use within the video. So you're getting footage from 95, you're getting early Beatles footage uh, from the Pete Best era at the Leather Jackets, and uh, Peter Jackson said uh, the result is pretty nutty and provided the video with much needed balance between both the sad but also the funny. So it's a little bit of both. Very emotional. Jackson concluded by saying, quote, he has genuine pride in the finished video, quote, and I'll cherish that for years to come. So, yeah, this is more news. It's very, very, uh, very, very exciting now. I mean, fans always like to see new footage. I'm very, very curious to see how Peter Jackson managed to put this stuff together and how he managed to get uh, both the fun and the, and the sad and also make it a very, very uh, intense experience because by all accounts, this is supposed to be something we're going to really be enjoying and uh, it's worth looking forward to. Um, so, you know, uh, the video for now and then, it's going to premiere alongside the song if I understand, I'm mixed up here because this says the song is going to premiere uh, on Thursday, November 2nd. I understood that, that the, the video is going to come out uh, on the 3rd. So I hear a couple of different accounts here from what I'm reading. But uh, we know that November 1st, we're going to get a short making of the film, kind of like the making of Now and Then on the 1st. That's tomorrow. So we're going to get that. Uh, we're going to get the release of the song itself, and we're going to get the video. All I know is, long story short, the next three days are going to be pretty intense. And of course, as I've said before, I'm going to be out of town 
I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be out of town. Uh, and so it's going to be fun for me to kind of like, uh, kind of orchestrate my videos and my commentaries and you know, feedback on these things while I'm out and about. But anyway, yeah, just exciting stuff. I can't believe it. Great. And we don't know what's going to come next. Probably as soon as I finish this video, there'll be more updates. Stay tuned.